Good morning everyone. As you can see, the weather outside is horrendous. It is like monsoon. It's actually just stopped now. I had to wait because otherwise you wouldn't have been able to hear me over the sound of the rain. It was just mad. But it makes for a very good intro to showing you what I have recently added to my wardrobe. So as you will have seen in the last couple of vlogs, or two or three vlogs actually, I've been decluttering on a major scale. Like, I think five bags, full to the brim, bin liners, going to charity, I think over 200 pieces that I'm selling via a pre-loved website. I'm not doing it myself, it would just be too much. So it has given me some space in my wardrobe, but also it's highlighted certain things that I need, that I need to either replace because things were old or didn't fit me or that I just didn't have. So I thought today's video, rather than a vlog of the week, I would show you all the bits that I have recently added to my autumn winter wardrobe. I was planning to show you these items anyway, but yesterday I did a little My Teresa shop haul, whatever you want to call it, for a few things that have been on my wish list for a while and they went into that one day flash sale that My Teresa does around this time of year. They put up, I think it's, I think they call it daily candy and it, they put up about 30 pieces every single day where they take off 20 or 30 percent. The discount lasts for 24 hours and that's it and then it's back to normal price. So I picked up three pieces from My Teresa yesterday, but I've also got a couple of new pieces from Reese, which I thought I would show you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There probably is, and I will remember as I'm doing the video. So let's get into it. First up, before I start unboxing things, I got just some plain jumpers. This is from H&M. I got this in black. I got it in this taupe shade basically i got all the colors and i got it in this cream shade it's the same jumper just in three different colors and it's just so easy to wear and at the moment it's not really cool enough for cashmere i don't think so this is a i don't know it's like a cotton blend it's just from h m and i love wearing it just around the house like you can see right now i'm at home all day i'm not going anywhere it's really comfortable it keeps me warm and toasty but not too warm you know like some jumpers, you feel like you keep having to take them off, put them back on again. This is just the perfect weight and the perfect amount of warmth. So yeah, and they're really, really inexpensive. So I feel like I can wear them all day, every day, and they can go in the wash and they're just easy to wear. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Reese pieces. Oh, that rhymes, I love that, Reese pieces. First up, I got this sheepskin jacket, which is just so cozy. It's in this gorgeous mushroom shade. I don't know if you can see that properly. And it comes to just up to my hips. And it's fully, oh, it's fully sheepskin inside. And it's so toasty and warm, but it's not bulky. Like, I'm five foot two and really bulky sheepskins, although I love the look doesn't always suit me, especially if I'm wearing flats, like I can get away with it if I'm wearing heels. And it has loads of pockets, like it's got patch pockets up here, and then it's got pockets down here. So it's really practical, like the length is so practical for me. I love this. And it just goes with every color, like it'll go with black, it'll go with gray, it'll go with beige, brown, maybe also with tan, I'm not sure, I have to try it with tan. But that was the first piece that I got from Reese and then also from Reese I got a gilet because you know when it's cold and you want to wear something warm but you don't want it to be too warm I just love gilets for being like the perfect layering piece and I don't have a gilet in this color it's a color that goes with everything I wear basically black <laughs> but it's just perfect again it doesn't add too much bulk it's leather here, the, oh, the softest leather ever. And then sheepskin here and then sheepskin on the back as well. And it has zips at the side there. So you can, if you're wearing a really bulky jumper, you can undo the zips and let it be more like a tabard. But I prefer it with the zips down for now. 
couple of pockets and I do think that I could probably wear this reversed. Should we try? Let's see if I can wear this reversed. So this is it reversed. I'm just going to pop the pockets into the inside. I think I could get away with wearing this as a reversible gilet. So this has got the sheepskin down the front, obviously where the leather was, and then it's leather at the back where the sheepskin was. Hmm, very pleased with that. I love the colour. It's a beautiful, rich grey, really, really gorgeous. That's the leather on it. And yeah, I love the colour. I think it's really, really flattering on my skin tone. And I've just realised that I got two gilets for the price of one. Now, before I get into this big box from my Teresa, I thought I'd just quickly show you or remind you about a couple of pairs of boots that I bought also from my Teresa earlier on. You'll have seen them if you've seen my previous vlogs, but these are staples in my current autumn winter wardrobe. So I thought I'd quickly show them to you. These are both from Todd's. And yes, they are both ankle boots, but they are very different. As you can see, these are a gorgeous tan color with that lug sole and they are so comfortable. It's literally like putting slippers on whenever I wear them. These are even more comfortable, but I need these to stretch a little bit. They're also from Todd's. They're a lot more casual. As you can see, it's almost like wearing a plimsoll, but in a little boot situation and a chocolate brown, which just, oh, it looks lighter on camera because the lights are on, but actually it's a really deep chocolate brown, almost like the color of my hair. And I love these. I just thought that I would show them to you because they are a staple part of my autumn winter wardrobe. And now let's get into this box. I literally ordered this yesterday and it's arrived today, which is amazing. I think that's the fastest delivery time I've ever had from my Teresa. I mean, normally they're good, but if you order on a Monday, you normally get like on a Wednesday or Thursday. And I did get a DHL notification saying it was coming tomorrow. And then the next thing I know, I got another notification saying it's coming today, which is great. It's come in time to film this. So the first item I feel actually needs no explanation. You know, I live in leather trousers throughout autumn, winter. I even wear them in the summer if it's not too hot. But I needed a new pair of leather trousers. These are actually vegan leather. They are from Nanushka. They are so soft. I have a pair of brown Nanushka vegan leather trousers, which I love. They're that kind of that paper bag waistband style. This is much more a normal jeans style, straight leg. I hope these fit. I have no idea if they'll fit or not. It's anybody's guess, but I'm gonna try them on and show you. <laughs> so these are the jeans on. I shouldn't call them jeans, they're trousers really. They are just the perfect length, as you can see. I'm not wearing shoes yet, but they are the perfect length. And they are so soft. They're so comfortable already. First time putting them on and they are super, super comfortable. And I think that these are gonna go really well with the other two items that I bought. It's basically like a whole outfit in a box. I love the detailing. It's like proper jeans detailing. And they're just really snug and they're really shaping my bum, which I like. <laughs> yeah, these are a definite keeper. So this, you can't see it because it's, can't really see this in the light so hopefully in the cutaway you'll be able to see this this is a top from galvin it's very much like the kate tops but a fraction of the price it has that square neckline you really can't see it hold on impossible to see it like that i'm just going to put this paper inside so you can see the neckline stand out <laughs> So now you can see the neckline. It's a wide shoulder, square neckline with that little cutout right in the middle, short sleeved. It's basically like wearing an elevated t-shirt, like the perfect t-shirt for the evening. I really don't know if this one's gonna fit because I ummed and ahed about getting this. And by the time 
I decided to push the button on this one only the extra small was left in stock I mean it went really quickly so fingers crossed that this is going to fit because I love the styling of it I just don't know if it's going to fit me literally had to keep my fingers crossed as I put this on because this as I said is an extra small and I think I'm probably a small so I don't know if I can make this work haven't looked at it in the mirror uh, just showing you on here but let me come up close it's that beautiful neckline I mean I used to be an extra small on my top half but now it's a little bit tight it is just about fitting I mean just about it is very stretchy and I'm not wearing a bra with this I'm not quite sure what bra you could wear probably a strapless bra but what do you think what do you think should I keep this I love it I think it's such a nice kind of evening top when you're not trying too hard just because of this neckline it's so lovely it's quite solid there there's wiring or I don't know boning or something there which is keeping that shape I don't think I need to wear a bra with this what do you think I love it I love it it's just a normal kind of t-shirt style on the back yeah I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I think that it will get a lot of use and then last up is a pair of ankle boots from a brand that I have never bought from before. This is from Dorothy Schumacher. I hope I've said that right. And I've never bought anything from this brand before. So I hope they're going to fit. I got a pair of these cowboy style ankle boots, which I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. And back in the day, when I say back in the day, I'm talking about when I was at university, but back in the day, I lived in cowboy boots. I saved up and saved up, and then I went to Arsoles on the King's Road, because that's where you got your cowboy boots from, and I bought a pair of just under the knee cowboy boots, which I lived in. It was kind of like my signature style, my Levi's 501s. Oh my God, this is taking me back. My Levi's 501s, my cowboy boots, and I had a varsity jacket, and that was me all the time like for three years probably but I don't know where those boots have gone like my size is still the same and I've looked and looked I have a feeling that my husband chucked them out these are a little bit less ornate in the sense that you can see there's no stitching on the front but I kind of like that because I think it makes them more wearable and less I don't want to say gimmicky but you know what I mean less kind of fancy dress and more like a proper boot but it has that real western styling you can see that conical heel and even the way this is shaped up here it's obviously very a western style it's a gorgeous glossy leather I hope that these are gonna fit me as I say I've not bought anything from Dorothy Schumacher before so let's try them on and now last up the boots and I'm gonna have to be really quick with this I haven't even got time to put socks on because I need to go and do the school pickup Oh, they are comfortable. That is really comfortable. Hold on. <laughs> the foot sits so nicely in these. Yeah, under the trousers, they're looking really good. Excuse the mess, <laughs> but that is the boots on. I love them, absolutely love them. They're giving me all the cowboy vibes without feeling like I'm doing fancy dress nice heel height not too high not too low lovely lovely glossy leather and they're so comfortable inside I can't even begin to tell you it's almost like they've been molded to my foot already and I love this detailing this is what I love I could have got a cheaper pair from M&S but they didn't have this detailing and this is really important to me so it's a pointed toe but as you can see this is squared off that is really important to me and that's why I'm loving them I want to try and get a full length. Really want to try and get a full length before I leave the house. Let's see if I can do this. I'm just going to put you there. Literally everything that came today. What do we think? Oh, and I almost forgot. I got these from H&M. So they are those glossy, knee-high, chunky boots which I know have been on trend. I don't know if they're out of trend already, but 
I've always wanted to get them and try them. I always thought that I didn't want to spend the money on them because, you know, they are a trend piece. Anyway, I picked these up when I was shopping with my daughter in H&M when I got this jumper. So let's try them on. I'm just going to try them on with these trousers for now without socks on. So this is them under the trouser. I'm not sure if I would wear it like that because it kind of just bulks up my legs a little bit, which, oh, maybe not. Maybe. Anyway, yeah. Also got these, which were, I think, about 30, 30 pounds. So not too much if you're buying into a trend. I'd love to know what you think of these little additions please let me know in the comments below if you're new please subscribe if you haven't already for more videos and now i need to run to do the school pickup i'll see you in my next video bye